This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Raise your hands out there if you love math. Yes, I know math is a four-letter word. Let me drop a veil or two for you here. When I was working my way through university, I worked as a programmer. And I worked on System 36s, IBM System 36s, 38s, and AS400s. And I coded in COBOL, RPG, Fortran, uh, C. I knew 14 different versions of BASIC. Now, what is programming? It's nothing but math. But I was always an artist. That just gave me money to keep my career going. When I got into computers, I did understand that it really isn't going to be, hey, I get to throw all the math away now because computers will do it all for me. But I kind of figured there might not be as much math involved. Now, understand. You can't divorce the mathematics of creativity from the creativity itself. There is some, at least give me that, there is some math involved when you design. So do this. I got a blank canvas open. You do the same thing. Pick a tool, any tool out of the set. I don't care. I'm going to do the ellipse tool. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw myself a perfect circle because I'm holding down the shift key and the alt key so I can draw it from center. And there is my perfect circle. Now the first one I drew is there visibly. I like that size. But from this point forward, I need to do certain things to other devices, other circles, for example. And I need a circle half that size. Now I know the drill on this. I can come over here and click. And it opens up the ellipse dialog box, and I've got, whoa, whoa, 11 point 7593 centimeters. And I'm going, whoa, man, what's half of that? Well, you know, I did so much programming at university, I think I slept through my math classes. I don't want to have to divide that by half. Isn't there a way I can do this? Well, of course there is. The math is built in, and I love this. What I'm about to show you, if you don't already know this, will work in any box that has a number in it in Adobe Illustrator if you want to change it mathematically. So I can come to the right of centimeter and say, put a plus sign there. So if I say plus 10, I'm saying, give me another circle with 10 more centimeters added to it in the width. If I use a negative and say 10 or whatever, I'm saying, take 10 centimeters off the width, which gives me a very small width of 1.7593. If I use an asterisk, I'm saying to the computer, give me something twice as big, times two. But that's not what I want, is it? I want something half the size. So I'm going to come back, put in the forward slash, which is divide, and type in two. Now if I press the tab key, see what it did? It cut it in half. I can do the same thing down here. Divide by two, press the tab key. If I click OK, I now have mathematically, based on my free form circle, a circle that is exactly mathematically one half that size. I love this feature. I absolutely love it. And it's been there for years. It is not new. You do your own math. You can use a calculator if you want to, or use the math system built right into Adobe Illustrator. On to the next.